I'm gonna teach you the three keys to starting and scaling your fitness business to $10,000 a month. But first, I'm gonna tell you what not to do. Number one, start building a website. When's the last time you went on your computer to browse websites? We browse social media. Two, build a funnel. Not only is it complicated, it's a waste of time and you don't need it to start making money. Three, spending money on paid advertising. If you can't sell to your warm audience on Facebook and Instagram, what makes you think you're gonna sell to a complete stranger on the internet? Now that we know what not to do, here are the three keys to starting and scaling your fitness business. Number one, social media is your business card. Hey, do you wanna buy $1,000 worth of fitness coaching off of me? Oh my God, you look dis- Disgusting. Listen, all jokes aside, 99.9% .9 of you guys have a social media profile that does not look professional. And because your social media account doesn't look professional, people aren't gonna be willing to send you thousands upon thousands of dollars on the internet. Now, creating a social media profile that is attractive is a lot easier than you think, and I'm about to break it down for you step by step. Now, let's break down my Instagram profile, and we're gonna go from top to bottom. Step number one, change your profile picture to one where you are smiling. That way, when you send prospects DMs, your smiley little face pops up in their inbox. Number two, use keywords that your ideal client would use in your Instagram username. Instagram is a search engine-based platform so when people are searching up specific keywords, you want your profile to pop up. Step number three, put the I help statement as the first line in your bio. The reason for that is when your videos start to perform better and people come to your page, you wanna make it very clear that your page is specifically for them. Now, a big thing that you guys are probably wondering is, yeah, but won't that alienate some people? It sure as heck will. It also will make you super attractive to one demographic. If you're unsure of who you should help, start with your past self. Example, I help men burn body fat and gain lean muscle tissue without giving up carbs. Step number four, have a keyword that people can DM you if they're interested in coaching. As an example, DM burn fat for info and coaching programs. Step number five, on the last line of your Instagram bio, have apply for coaching with an arrow pointing down. Pointing down on what, Brian? I'm so glad you asked. Step number six is to put an application in the website link in your bio. That way people can apply if they're interested in coaching. Here are the questions you should put in that application. What's your first name and last name? What's your email address? What's your Instagram username? What's your phone number? What's your biggest struggle on your fitness journey? Your biggest goal for your fitness journey? How prepared are you to invest in your fitness goals? Option number one, I'm willing to invest whatever the price. Option number two, I'm willing to invest, comma, but my budget is tight. Option number three, I don't have the money for coaching right now. And why do you want to work with me as your online fitness coach? Number two, give away all the sauce. See, most personal trainers operate under the belief, if I gave away all the information for free, why would people hire me? Even though this belief is the furthest thing from the truth, it causes most trainers to only give away a tiny bit of the sauce. Little bit of sauce for you. All the sauce. <laughs> Now in these two scenarios, let's pretend that somebody's interested in buying sauce. Who are they gonna purchase from? The guy that barely gives them any sauce or the guy that gives them all the sauce up front for free. And let's pretend that someone's actually interested in buying some sauce. Are they gonna buy sauce off the no sauce for you guy who didn't give them anything up front? Little bit of sauce for you. Or are they gonna buy sauce from the guy that gave them all the sauce up front for free? When it comes to your social media profile, your content needs to be so valuable that people could get results for free without ever hiring you just from consuming content on your newsfeed. Once you do this effectively, you're gonna build trust and build a relationship with your audience. Bob Berg is an iconic internet marketer and he coined the term, all things being equal, people will do business with and refer business to those people they know, like, and trust. So it's important to create three different types of content to get people to know you, like you, and trust you. Connection content helps people get to know you. This is personal stories of your own journey or things you've struggled with, aspirations you have, or even your lifestyle outside of health and fitness that makes you who you are. Value content gets people to like you because we always like people who help us out. Your goal is to provide so much value as in tangible and actionable content upfront for free that your audience could get in shape without ever hiring you. Now, proof content is where your audience starts to trust you. This is where you demonstrate your expertise by sharing before and afters of your own story, whether they be a fitness transformation, a mindset transformation, a drinking to sobriety transformation, anything where there's an actual demonstrated before and after. This is also the best form of marketing when you actually have online coaching clients before and after photos. Listen, when you work in a gym, you sit down and you do consultations with your potential clients so you can get to know them. Then you would map out a game plan to help them achieve their goals and you'd make them an offer that would suit them the best. It's the same thing with online fitness coaching, we just need to pull out our phones. What's the biggest struggle that you have? Everything, help me. Let's do a consult. 
send calendar link. Whoa, 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 Brian, wait, wait, wait. What do you say in the DMs? Told y'all I got other sauce. The five questions that you need to ask. Number one, mind if I ask a couple of questions to see if I can help? This gives you permission to get into the DM script. Number two, what's the biggest struggle you have in your fitness journey right now? Number three, what's the biggest goal you have in your fitness journey right now? Number four, in the next 60 to 90 days, what are the top two to three results that you're looking for? And number five, would you like some help? Once they say yes, chicka boom, you're gonna offer a free consult by saying this word for word. I'll tell you what, why don't we hop on a quick 15 minute consult? We'll talk about your number one goal, your biggest struggle, and I'll give you a game plan to help you achieve your goals. Are you up for that? Now on the phone, you're gonna need to run through this 10 step framework to successfully close thousand dollar high ticket online coaching packages. Number one, pre-frame. All right, Nick, so what we're gonna do on today's call is I'm gonna ask you a couple questions about your biggest struggles and your biggest goals in your fitness journey. Then we're gonna come up with a game plan to help you achieve your goals. At the end of the call, I'll let you know whether or not I can help. If I can, I'll invite you to work with me. If I can't help you, I'll at least point you in the right direction. Is that cool? Number two, pain points. So Nick, tell me about your biggest struggle in your fitness journey right now. How has that been impacting you? And how does that make you feel? Number three, why now? And Nick, out of curiosity, why did you hop on this call with me right now? Why is it important for you to change your life? Number four, goals. Nick, talk to me about your number one fitness goal. What would it mean for you if we were able to achieve that goal? What would you do to celebrate? Number five, consequences of not taking action. Now, Nick, I hate to be that guy, but let's just pretend you get off this call and you do absolutely nothing. Your health stays the same, or maybe it even gets worse. You gain another five, 10, 15 pounds in the next year. How would that make you feel? Number six, test commitment. Now, Nick, when I work with guys, I only work with serious guys because I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to waste yours. So on a scale of one to 10, one being, I don't really care about this right now, and 10 being, I'll do whatever you tell me to do, Brian, where are you sitting on that scale? Number seven, present the offer. All right, Nick, so you want to lose 20 pounds before summer. Here's how we're going to make that happen. I'm going to do you a training plan that's going to change every four weeks to help you lose that 20 pounds. Sound good? The nutrition program is going to be updated weekly. I'm going to include foods that you actually like to eat so it doesn't feel like you're on a diet. Cool? Now, in terms of your check-ins, we're either going to make progress every week and you're going to lose weight, or we're going to make adjustments to your plan. So I'm going to send you a weekly check-in. You got to respond to me, and based on that check-in, I'll make adjustments. Does that sound good? Number eight, drop the price. All right, Nick, so if you were to hire an in-person coach, it would cost you about five grand for 12 weeks, and you wouldn't get a nutrition program. One of the reasons I wanted to go online is I wanted to make it affordable for everyone. So my training, nutrition, and accountability program for 12 weeks is only $9.99. How does that sound? Number nine, overcome objections and collect the cash. Okay, so just so we're on the same page, you know, the program sounds amazing, it's just the financial aspect, is that correct? Okay, so if I was able to help you, you know, come up with something that was a little bit more budget friendly, would that make it possible for you to get started today? I'll tell you what, Nick, typically I don't like doing this because, you know, I find that the guys that paying for are more committed, but I can tell you're pretty serious about this, so why don't we do this? Um, why don't we do 350 a month, we'll get you started today. We'll start working on your goals. My goal is to help you lose five pounds in the first 30 days. We'll get you into momentum and we'll start you right away. Does that sound fair to you? Number 10, cement the sale. Nick, my man, I just got the payment. How you feeling? Nervous, excited, ready? Brother, those are all good emotions. I promise you, you just made the best decision of your life. Today, we covered the three keys to building a successful online fitness business. Number one, your social media is your business card. Number two, give away all the sauce. Don't be the no sauce guy. Number three, the online PT conversion system. If this video is valuable and you'd like my help, starting and scaling your coaching business to five to $10,000 per month, tap the button in the description of the comments and schedule in for a strategy session with me and my team so we can help you grow a successful online coaching business. On the call, we're gonna cover three main things. Number one, your biggest struggle when it comes to your coaching business. Number two, your biggest goal for your coaching business. And number three, we're gonna give you a game plan to help you achieve your goals. We're also gonna give you some strategies you can implement immediately in your coaching business. Tap the button below to book in for the calendar. Thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully it was valuable.